Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette. We're in Acts chapter 17. And we have just, uh, Paul has been sent away ahead of Timothy and Silas. And Paul is in a place called Athens. And yesterday we ended on verse 16, which says, Now while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was provoked within him when he saw that the city was given over to idols. <coughs> I'm reading now the New King James Version of the Bible. And uh, hopefully you're reading along with me. We're going to pick this up in verse 17. Therefore, he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and with the Gentile worshipers and in the marketplace daily with those who happen to be there. Uh, just take a look at this picture here. Paul is, his spirit is stirred. He is provoked. He feels like, man, what is going, this place is given over to idols. Someone's got to get the truth to them. His heart was, was pricked and he knew that he had to do something. So he reasons, he spends time in the synagogue and with Gentile worshipers and in the marketplace daily. Whoever was there, he talked to them. Anyone he could, this is critical, I'm sure is the thinking in Paul's mind. Verse 18, then certain Epicurean and Stoic philosophers encountered him, and some said, what does this babbler want to say? Others said, he seems to be a proclaimer of foreign gods, because he preached to them Jesus and the resurrection. Now understand, they were given over to idols. This place had all kinds of um, uh, idols and temples. They worshipped so many various things. So to them, Paul was just some other new philosophy that's come along. <coughs> Verse 19. And when they took him and brought him to Areopagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine is of you, of you of which you speak. For you are bringing some strange things to our ears. Therefore, we want to know what these things mean. They're curious. you know. For all the Athenians and the foreigners who were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. My friend, we are caught up in that today. We want to hear some new thing. We rush off to hear someone tell us something new that God has spoken to them, or maybe even hear some new word for us when we won't spend but a few minutes a day, if that much, reading God's word to, to hear what he's saying to us out of his own written word. We can be just like that. It's pitiful that we are like that. Um, you know, I'm going to stop here because this is a, a pretty long story. And I want to encourage you. The reason I do this is so that you can spend time every day in, in God's Word. Not seeing how fast we can read through it, but seeing what God says to us in it each and every time we open the book. Your goal is not to see how many chapters you read today. Your goal is to open up your heart and let God speak to you through his word today. You can't waste your life running around trying to get direction from someone or at some conference. It's not that those things don't happen. But what God the Father wants is for you to develop a relationship with him so that you might hear from him and know in your own spirit what you should do, which way you should go. I've been in those situations where I'm craving to know God. I want to know, I want to hear what you're saying to me, Lord. I want to know if this is the direction I should be taking. And I look sometimes in various things, but you know what? God is speaking to you today. And all he needs you to do is take the time 
to open His Word. Look for situations that might be similar to yours and see how God responded in those. And then just quiet yourself before the Lord and say, Father, speak to me today. Your Word says this. I see this in your Word. What is it that you want to say to me from your Word today? And then let Him speak to you. Father, help us to be people who are not led and driven around, Father, uh, <coughs> simply searching for a new doctrine or a new word or a new something. But help us, Lord, to rely upon you and our relationship with you and our connection with you as your sons and daughters that we might hear that word from your mouth and that we might grow by it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.